I've been said, I've been said he ain't no goat. I've been said he's a jealous, hateful individual. I've been said that. Let's not forget how he got in his feelings when they built that statue to Kobe. Let's not forget that. But watch this. Make space, guys, for King. Make space. You see that? Little boy comes up to him, says, LeBron, can I take a picture? Stop. Stop it. Don't do that. Stop. He damn near mushed the kid. And that kid probably is a LeBron fan. Right? What does he do right after he done damn near mushed that kid? What does he do right after this kid meets his hero and his hero just destroys his world? What does he do right after that? Congratulations. Congratulations. Nigga did a victory dance right after he shitted on a kid. A victory dance. Shout out to Sean. Did a whole victory dance. A whole victory dance. Now hold on. Let me give you a better angle. Let me let me give you a better angle. I got a better angle. Check it out. Congratulations, LeBron. Look at him. Look at him. A, a whole brick, right? But th this is y'all hero. This is another one of y'all heroes. Stop, 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 stop. Don't do that. I can't. <laughs> That's a kid, bro. I can see if it was an adult. That's a kid, bro. But but this is and, and you got people saying make way for the king. What? The king? I, sometimes I get tired of being right. I, I would never do that to a little kid. I wouldn't care if I was annoyed. I wouldn't care if I was angry. I wouldn't care if I was upset. It wouldn't make me no difference. If if I had, I don't have fans like LeBron has fans, but if I did, there's no way I could see if it I could even see if it was a crowd of people. It wasn't even a crowd. It's one kid. He couldn't have stopped for a brief moment to take a selfie with that kid. Bruh, for him, that's a minor annoyance. For that kid, that's some shit he gonna remember the rest of his life. He could have stopped for one moment to take a picture with that kid. That kid would remember that for the rest of his life. And he must not be too annoyed. He must not be in a bad mood. Because when he got to the door, he did his little shimmy. And then he hugged somebody. Like, look, and, and then you got people in the chat trying to defend him. You got people in the chat trying to defend him in the comment section. Y'all got to learn to respect people's personal space, celebrity or not, all them Darn lights flashing in his eyes, folks running up on him. Man, there won't no bunch of folks running up on him. What are you talking about? Look, somebody said a white basketball player does that to a black kid. Y'all will be rioting. Somebody said, so true. A 12-year-old little boy wanting a picture taken should really learn self-control. <laughs> exactly. What are we talking about? So forget every other moment LeBron acknowledge a kid or a fan. Y'all get so bent out of shape for nothing. LeBron didn't owe anyone anything. It ain't about owing somebody something, man. It's not about owing somebody something. It's about being nice, being polite. Just because you're a celebrity doesn't mean you get to be a prick. Somebody said that's who he really is, facts. Someone said, wow, Shaq would have let him take a selfie. 
Shaq would have hugged him, signed an autograph, and took a picture. That's facts. True colors come out. Wow, what a classy dude. Hope this is shown everywhere. The five seconds he took to say stop, he could have just done the pick. Damn, Bron. Just a kid, bro. Wow. I'm sick of these celebrities, bro. I'm sick of these celebrities, bro. When when I'm out and about and somebody spots me, they be like, yo, ain't you on YouTube? I'm like, yeah, angry man. They be like, word. Like, I have a whole conversation with somebody. You know what I'm saying? I, I'll have a whole conversation. Like, I, I don't do that to people. I don't do that to people. That shit is that shit is fucked up, man. That shit is fucked up. Because let's be real about it. Okay, you're 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 a, you're a great basketball player. You're a celebrity. You're in the NBA. That don't give you the right to treat people like shit. It doesn't. It doesn't at all. So you're in Paris. You just won a gold medal. You're getting out of your car. A kid is excited to see you. You just won a gold medal. Stop, stop, stop. Yeah, anybody anybody that has ever bumped into me, I don't care where I was at. And, and I'm going to tell you, like, I, I was at, I was in New York, and I got stopped in Times Square. I was walking down the sidewalk in Times Square. Mad people. Mad people. You know what I'm saying? Like mad people walking up and down the sidewalk and some dude stopped me. Stopped and spoke to him. You feel me? In fact, it happened a couple of times, right? While I was in New York. Dude stopped me in the airport. One of the TSA agents stopped me. Um, I was at Myrtle Beach in Family Dollar. Somebody stopped me. I was in Charlotte, somebody, everywhere I go, I be hearing Raleigh people be stopping me. And I speak to them. Like, it don't take nothing to, like, it don't take nothing to stop and take a moment out of my day to speak to somebody. I'm happy that I have people that like my content enough to be fans. That's something I never, I never would have thought in a million years. If you go back 10, 20 years, I would have never thought I would have fans. I'm appreciative of that shit. But this prick, yo, I'm sorry. I'm maybe I'm just built different.